America is and must be the final last days Babylon. To the fact that America may be encoded in the word Babylon. America may be mystery Babylon. America is Babylon. Babylon is actually referring to the United States. Babylon is the United States. Is that true? Is America mystery Babylon? You'll be surprised to know that the Bible clearly tells us who Mystery Babylon is, and it's not America. But will you accept the truth when we show you? This is one of a series of teachings from my new book, Escape the Coming Antichrist, When the Pre-Tribulation Rapture Fails, and It Will, by Lou Caminelli. Look for my other teachings on this topic on YouTube. Please like, share, and comment. Today we'll show you who the Bible says is Mystery Babylon, and it's very clear. First off, you need to know that in history, Babylon is generally associated with an Antichrist and world dominion. The first attempt of world dominion began shortly after the flood, when the first Antichrist figure, Nimrod, built the Tower of Babel. The idea was that if God ever attempted to flood the world again, they would survive in their tower, so Nimrod persuaded the people to turn against God and he became their anti-God, or anti-Christ figure. He spurned allegiance to God and caused them to turn to his tyrannical government, much like socialism and communism do today. The first world empire was called, appropriately enough, the Babylonian Empire complete with an antichrist figure, Nebuchadnezzar, who commanded that Daniel bow down to him. So there have been antichrist figures over the centuries, as the Apostle John says, as there have been Babylon types. But is the final Babylon, Mystery Babylon, the United States? No, and neither is the antichrist going to arise out of the United States. So does the Bible pinpoint which city is Mystery Babylon? Bible students are aware of a fundamental principle in Bible study. It's called the Law of First Mention. To understand a particular word or doctrine, we must find the first place in Scripture that word or doctrine is revealed and study that passage. The reasoning is that the Bible's first mention of a concept is the simplest and clearest presentation. So to fully understand an important and complex theological concept, Bible students are advised to start with its first mention. Notice that in the book of Revelation, Mystery Babylon is described many times as that great city. The first mention of the term great city God gives us the identity of Mystery Babylon. Speaking of the two witnesses who will prophesy during the Great Tribulation, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Our Lord was crucified in Jerusalem. Therefore, each time the term great city is referred to in the following verses, it is talking about Jerusalem. And the final time it used the term great city, it is referring to the new Jerusalem when Christ returns. The concept of Jerusalem as a harlot and murderer of God's people is nothing new. Read carefully the Old Testament scriptures where God uses the same metaphors for Jerusalem faithful city become a harlot, but now murderers. Jerusalem's sword devoured your prophets. Your whoredoms, whore's forehead, Israel committed adultery, Judah played the harlot also. Whoredom, committed adultery, caused Jerusalem to know her abominations, played the harlot. Your fornications, whored with the Egyptians, whored with the Assyrians, Whoredom is idolatry, harlot, harlots, your fornications, O harlot, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers. How often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. Consider how great is Jerusalem's harlotry. The real Messiah had already come and was rejected and killed there. 
At some point soon, Jerusalem will embrace the Antichrist as its lover and God and will promote him to the kings of the earth. As Jesus said, I am come in my Father's name and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. So now you know who Mystery Babylon is. My book also shows you how you can escape the upcoming tribulation, but it's not the pre-trib rapture. If you don't know the Lord, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus that your sins may be forgiven and that you may have eternal life. We have more teachings online, look for them, and we also have my book available now, Escape the Coming Antichrist, When the Pre-Tribulation Rapture Fails, and it will, available at Amazon and at my own website. It's time to begin understanding the truth.